All right, hey, welcome to Write CNC. We're going to talk a little bit about this uh, file that we have here. It looks like we have a lot going on here. Let's talk about that real quick. Um, based off of what we're seeing in the images here, um, this is a nested set of files uh, within the context of it, this entire sheet. So we have files, uh, we have red on the outside, meaning that the red is the outside cut, yellow represents an inside cut, and red inside of yellow represents a, a cut within another cut. Um, and we'll notice here the white lines. White lines are just path ends. When we were talking, I was concerned that these path ends would be a little bit different, but it looks like in this case we're going to actually cut out pretty cleanly here. We also have these letters up at the top. That seems like uh, something we don't want to cut. So let's go ahead and take a look here and see what we can do to cut this file out. Now I imported this in inches. Um, let's take a look at what we can do. We can go into Operation Plasma Cut here and we choose our layer, unnamed level 1, outside offset, 16 gauge. Let's say I was cutting this out of 16 gauge. Now here's the problem is we have offsets here. We have a bunch of offsets. Um, now if we do an outside offset the way that I have it set up right now, what's going to end up happening is it'll cut out all these parts, but internally here you'll notice that my lead in and lead out now mine are offset because I have an offset function set up on here but you notice that this is on the outside of the hole meaning that it's going to give this cut uh, less than what we want it's also cutting on the inside of this yellow shape and we don't want that because it looks like this is meant to be assembled together or welded together in some way um, just based off of what I can see here so here's what we're going to do we're actually going to go up and use the C tool edit contours I'm going to click and draw a square around here with the Edit Contours tool. Right click, move to Layer, New Layer. We'll just give it Layer 2. And now all of that won't be cut. And I also don't like this outside box, meaning that we don't want it to cut. Now if we remove this outside box, I'm going to show you something here. Move to Layer 2. So I right clicked, Move to Layer 2. And you're going to notice that my outside offset has changed a little bit. So, um, previously these cuts were on the inside of the shape. You'll notice that we see more definition of cut and all of our interior holes are actually being cut from the inside so now we have a part that's actually being cut from the inside. Um, honestly that's probably the best way to cut out this file. All of these lines are being cut directly on the line. Nothing we can do to change that. Um, the rest of the file looks like it cuts okay. And let's see the difference here. I'm going to go ahead and show you inside offset. Hit OK. You'll notice again, it cuts from the inside. You lose a lot more detail right here, right here, right here. Let's go to the opposite just to prove that concept here. Outside offset, okay. Cool, now we can see that it does make this line, but it doesn't muddle up this point, meaning that this won't fall off. It'll actually remain a whole leaf and it'll cut out pretty cleanly. So just a couple of basic things to keep in mind when looking at this art file. Then we'll go file, run post processor, and it'll actually cut everything out, but just keep that in mind again while you're working with this. You want to make sure that your offsets are correct. So after this we can bring it over to Mach 3. There's also the other option where we go into QCAD and we see how it has all these words. We can go, go in with our pointer tool, select and just hit delete with our keyboard, delete, 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 and then hit file, save, and then you'll just have these flowers rather than having it cut out of another shape which is not what you're going to want in this particular case. So all of that to say, take a look at the file, run it the way that we've suggested here, and you'll be good to go. If you do find yourself cutting the other way, you will notice very quickly how the offset will not be cutting correctly. So, take a look at that, and we'll run from there.